internet, you will disagree. You will piss and moan in the comments all day. You will cry about it, scream about it, go on Twitter and write it, no, 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 and then you go to buy your NVIDIA card. And the internet, because I know you right now, is like, yeah, this is like, I only care about value. You know, F you, NVIDIA. You know, Wait, what's up with the hey, prices? Hey, this? Gordon. Oh, I'm sorry. We're in a restaurant. We're in a restaurant. What's up, internet? That feels weird to say. I'm taking Gordon's line. Uh, so Gordon from PC World is joining, and we have a really fun topic. Gordon, the question is, is Intel screwed part four? Part four. Part four. We've been doing this series for several years now. We missed a few years because of the pandemic. We're back. But I think the topic today is specifically going to be a discussion on ARC and ARC positioning because RTX 4060 Ti came out while we've been here. RX 7600, they've been hot topics. Uh, pretty negative, I think, for the most part, at least on our end. So ARC is suddenly becoming very interesting. And for those who don't know, Gordon's from the PC World channel and website. And I have a lot of respect for Gordon's reporting. He takes a, uh, I think, more responsible journalism approach before he starts yelling at the internet. Yes, then I start yelling at the internet. And then it devolves from there. <laughs> so. Before that, this video is brought to you by Deepcool and the new Zero Dark series of AK620 and AK400 CPU coolers. We previously reviewed the AK620 and AK400 and found them to be among a new crop of extremely competitive coolers for the price. The new Zero Dark and Zero Dark Plus variations move out to a blackout color design with blackout FDB fans. The heatsinks otherwise have the same characteristics as those that we tested previously and found to be well performing, just with a fresh new look. Learn more at the link in the description below. Question is, broadly speaking, is Intel screwed? I would say no, um, generally, because we ne you never say never, but honestly- You just said it twice. I just said it there twice. Why do you, why is it you can't say it then? We have gotten from the original launch, which was, right? I mean, it's the ugliest GPU launch I think we've probably seen in a long, long time. A lot of people thought it was dead. Yeah. Things didn't work, drivers didn't work, soft games didn't work. Software was terrible. Performance was subpar. Yeah. You know, they've iterated, iterated, iterated on drivers, and now, I don't know, it's hard to tell because I can only go off comments that we've seen. We've done our own testing because we do a driver update uh, on, the, on the card and test it every few months. It's a real competitive card, right? Arc is like, people it's become, really want Arc. become real. This, by the way, this uh, setup we have, this counter. Yeah. I, I do feel like, um, I do, I do feel like we're concierge. It's that we're back to Gordon's benchmark concierge and valet service. Ninety nine per minute is what I think. Nine nine ninety nine per minute. You're making your price lower. You. He's, if you're not familiar with that reference, go to PC World. I shot a video with them, and Gordon talked about logging into webcams. Something about coins, he costs $10 an hour. I don't know, it's on their channel. Customized benchmarks though. We run the benchmarks the way you want to run it. It's a real service. So back to the question, um, A750 in particular, I, I was really excited when I saw the price drops recently because I knew this video was coming up and it totally changed my outlook on how this video would go. I originally pitched the, we talked about shooting some videos together, pitched the idea, and it was the 4060 Ti and the 7600 are coming up. But I thought the answer to this is Intel screwed might be they're kind of screwed right now because these two companies are entering the more affordable class finally. Right. And then they totally fumbled the ball, in my opinion. And uh, Intel drops its price, where an A750 is like 200 bucks on Newegg right now. So, I mean, how does that, do you, can you, how do you reconcile the, general, let's let's call it um, unpredictability of Intel's drivers and games. C can you reconcile that now with the price? Yeah, I think so. I think I definitely everybody that seems to have ARC, they're pretty happy for the price to performance ratio. And at that segment is the one that's been really the most ignored for the last three years. Mm. So really, I, I would think most people like, yeah, honestly, you could buy ARC. I, there's some people that you're they're always going to want NVIDIA because, you know, NVIDIA is the gold standard for GPUs. But, you know, for somebody who's really looking for value, you're not going to really get that from NVIDIA. I, I know we have 4060 Ti. You reviewed it. We've reviewed it. 
wasn't exactly. I a, saw. I didn't get to check that most recent stream you did, but I saw a top comment where they were quoting you, and you said something like 4060 Ti, 3060 Ti, same thing, whatever. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a. It was a disappointing card, right? Because the performance didn't go up for a generation. Pricing is not the best. It's okay, I guess. Is it fair? So we we basically dismissed Nvidia's argument of but DLSS three. We gave our reasons in the review. I won't bother going through them again. Is it fair to do that? Do you think that as reviewers or as consumers of something like a 4060 Ti, where it just doesn't generationally improve, uh, is it unfair to dismiss their but DLSS three? I mean, I, I'm always in interest of having more data because you let people pick it. Right. But I mean, at the same time, DLSS three, and for a card that is really a 1080p card, the mm. argument is you're going to suffer image quality concerns. And I, I think it is very fair. Um, and I think the real problem for me for 4060 Ti, I'm more negative on it than I expected, is because there's just so much more choice. I feel like you are, I feel like at, at times you retain neutrality a little bit better maybe than I do, where uh, I will start arguing on principle if yeah. I think the principle pisses me off enough. And I feel like you anchor a little bit better in neutrality. But the fact that you were bothered by the 4060 Ti yeah. sent a pretty clear signal to me of like, okay, they actually really did screw this up. Yeah, because it's just like, I mean, for it to be single digit performance over 3060 Ti was like, it was just a bummer, right? Because you had higher expectations from the other, other cards in the higher end of the spectrum. And, uh, to me, the real hard part for 4060 Ti is there's just so much more choices. 3060 Ti still out there. Yeah. There's Radeons, older generation Radeons that are faster for a little bit more money. 67 XT is great value if it's still around. What about the 7600? Does that, how, how does that affect, let's ignore Nvidia, how does that affect Intel? A770, A750, so you've got a, what, $270 now, $7600 versus a $200, 750 and a whatever, a 770, 300 something. You know, I think they they probably helped the card by lowering the price, right? Because not, not a fantastic, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. I still think, like, when we talk about on our show, like, generally, yeah, honestly, if you bought a 3060 Ti or 4060 Ti, it felt like it didn't make that much of a difference. I mean, there's right. still parts, times when you would want a 4060 because... You were, NV, you have uh, AV1, you have the near NV, NV Inc. You're a CUDA user. You, You're a CUDA you user. There's, there are legitimate cutouts, but for the vast majority of just general gamers, it was kind of a meh launch, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but, and I think the hard, the, the hard part of all this is I know reality is, getting a little bit back to the Intel screwed, is that I, I bet in a year when we see the numbers from JPR, mm. NVIDIA, which had 75% market share, their market share will be 74%. You know, it won't even move, it won't, it's like yeah. it's within the margin of error at that point. Right. And that was, uh, do you know David Cantor? Yes. Yeah. I had an interesting conversation with him many years ago when Intel Arc was really just becoming a topic. And I, I said to David, you know, everybody's really skeptical of this, and, uh, but at the same time, if anyone can do it, it's probably going to be Intel. And... Uh, how how do you what do you think Intel needs to do to not kill the project and for those who don't know David Cantor is uh, I, I greatly respect his technical knowledge he's a brilliant analyst very knowledgeable on silicon and uh, his answer was look Steve Intel doesn't need to be uh, doesn't need to be first they only need to be second he said they only have to take market share from AMD they don't necessarily have to take it from NVIDIA. I thought that was an interesting answer. And do, do you think that is where this battle is playing out? If we have A750, A770, we've got three vendors. Is it a false, uh, it's not a dichotomy because there's three of them, but <laughs> a false trichotomy, is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an English major. Uh, but is it a false choice to say Intel, AMD, NVIDIA? Is it actually just Intel, AMD? And then if you have more money, you're on video. Yeah, I agree. Because again, internet, you will disagree. You will piss and moan in the comments all day. 
you will cry about it, scream about it, go on Twitter and Reddit, and no, 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 and then you go to buy your NVIDIA card. <laughs> and they know that. They know you will go and buy them. I know you're going to say, oh, but I've seen numbers that the cards aren't selling, they're backing up. In the end, I, but I, the one thing we don't know is it backing up for everybody. Mm. And I just, having seen NVIDIA, and when you are the number one, and people, people associate gaming with NVIDIA, it is really, really hard to get people to change minds. And Adam actually had a really good point because before even 4060 Ti came out, you had some Radeons that mm. were way better for value and performance. Nobody bought them. Sure. Did yeah. not change market yeah. share because they want NVIDIA. Because their NVIDIA is still in that point where, remember on CPUs, it, it didn't matter that Ryzen was kicking the ass of core all day no one would buy AMD because, you know what? Intel has always worked for me, it's reliable, it's safe. It's hard to break I'm that. I'm gonna buy this 7700K for $360. Right. Okay. You know. I, I think it's really hard to break that where a lot of people in the enthusiast audience, the segment we cover, it's easy to get tunnel visioned on. Uh, you forget that you, maybe more aware of your options and maybe more willing to experiment with options than the greater market. People who don't know who either of us are and uh, walk into Best Buy, what is it you call them, blue shirts? Blue shirts, yes. <laughs> yeah. I have a Best Buy shirt, <laughs> bought for Halloween. <laughs> I want to go into one one day. So you I walk around store it? giving I, advice. I look forward to bailing you out of jail. <laughs> oh, I know, could you like? <laughs> we should do that. We should, uh... Adam, can we do that? Can we follow Gordon into a Best Buy? Yes. Can we get him arrested? Yes. Okay. Do you think they would notice? They'd go like... That you got arrested? They said, who's the new guy? I, I don't know. <laughs> Seems kind of old, doesn't he? Must be, a, must be from corporate. Yeah, it must be from corporate. <laughs> better, everyone better be on their best behavior. It's probably like that boss program where they have an exec come in like... <laughs> Hello, Hello fellow. <laughs> high schoolers. <laughs> so, yeah, when you walk into a Best Buy and you, you're talking about people who don't really have any of the enthusiast mindset, Yeah. I think the... A lot of our concerns don't present themselves, and, and it does just become, well, Intel's always worked well for me. And it, it probably, I think you can make this argument maybe for uh, airlines, cars, like any industry where you're spending a good amount of money on a thing. Right. And people are, why would you play with chance if last time it worked fine? Like, maybe there's something better, but if it works fine and it's expensive, Right. Maybe they just stick with it. I mean, and AMD's perfect example because Radeon is giving just so much more performance, so much more value for the money. And their numbers actually went down right. because Intel's eating into AMD market share. Right. So then for, for Intel, what does the future look like, you think? Do, do they need to launch? Actually, I have some thoughts on this. I want to hear yours first. Does Intel need to launch a high-end product? Right now they have they have an A380, which we eh, kind of disregard it, but it is a low-end option. The more relevant A750, their high-end is kind of mid-range for everyone else. Do they need a 4090 or 7900 XTX competitor from two perspectives, for the customer, for performance, or for, uh, call it mind share right. on the market? I would say no. You know, and I would actually, interestingly, I think we thought AMD should have gone higher to meet a NVIDIA with 4090 at the time. Realistically, I don't think Intel's in any position to try to, to, to fight with a 4090 class card because that card is just so beyond everybody and also so expensive. It's actually insane. Like if you look at the charts, the gap between a 4090 and a 4080 and an XTX in, in say a 4K scenario or something right. is actually crazy this time. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they have to, and I don't think it would work because they would have to make because their their brand isn't as valuable as Nvidia's brand still. It's not trusted, so they would have to give you more performance than for, than a forty ninety for less money. Mm. I mean, that's just like set, setting you up for failure. Yeah. So I think they need to have a solid mid range card. They can still play against the prices for Nvidia and, and AMD. I probably less for AMD because they might be more competitive with AMD than Nvidia, but. I think they just they can they can pick their victories where they can and just kind of build up the trust in Intel because it's yeah. still not there. It's I mean hell it's a hundred it's a thousand percent better than at launch. 
Right. Because honestly, right now, right. if you went out and bought an A750 for $200, for most people, it's going to run fine. You'll be able to play the games you want to play. And for launch, you can't divide by zero. So like yes. a lot of instances, it just was broken. Or especially pre-launch, review stuff, where you have games that don't launch, you get black screen problems, you have software that is not only sometimes built incompetently with no awareness of how a person interacts with a computer, but also it's just broken. Uh, and they've fixed a lot of that. So like to Intel's credit, it's actually, and we keep commenting on this in the NVIDIA and AMD stuff, I, do you feel, so how do you feel about this statement? One of the comments we've been making is that when the companies are close, say let's say a 7600 is like right next to a seven something, 770, whatever. Okay. When they're close, uh, I feel like there's more gas in the tank for Intel to boost that performance than especially Nvidia and maybe AMD in the form of drivers. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, I agree because they, I mean, it's, they keep, I mean, again, like you said, you're starting at zero. <laughs> every, every improvement is better. It's like, yeah. okay, well, you know, a D minus is still better than an F. So sure. there's, <laughs> I mean, that's why, cause it's, it's, it's hard. Passing grade. It's hard not to, you know, make that joke at Intel's expense because it, it launched so poorly. But at the point they're at now, everything's like, everything's actually pretty good, decent. And there's still room for improvement, right? So, so. my, one of the, I think, more interesting questions for you. You've been in the industry a while. You have a lot of experience reporting on these companies. Here's what I'm worried about. I look at how NVIDIA and AMD, especially right now, market their products. And every now and then you look at what they're doing and it's like, could you please just shut up and just like, just let the product sell itself. Stop making it worse and just get your foot out of your mouth. Intel right now, and I feel like Intel has always done pretty well with this. They, they're keeping a more traditional corporate, uh, not trying to make a rock star out of the product or the people, and they're staying kind of quiet. And my, my fear, and maybe you can either add to this anxiety or take away from it, my fear is that Intel will say, hey, we can do some catchy meme marketing and take shots at NVIDIA and AMD while they're down right now. People hate them right now. We can start taking shots at them. Uh, you know, I think the I think that glass wall over there isn't too structural. Maybe we could throw a rock through yeah. that one. Yeah. So what, what are your thoughts on? I don't think they, after that launch and the build up to this launch and- It's actually, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's actually uh, NVIDIA and AMD crying in the background right, right now. They're crying about the prices right yeah. now, so. <laughs> I don't think it's in Intel's right now with our the nature to they're not gonna I, I think they've realized we gotta be keep our head down, keep giving better products. The card sells themselves through the word of mouth and they don't really need to market any of that. And trying to go out of there and, and try to be clever, it's probably gonna backfire at this point. Yeah. I so, think so I think if they and again it's it's not like it's Intel what although traditionally Intel is not marketed that way. They're they're definitely more corporate, they're more buttoned down. They yeah. don't take cheap shots necessarily. Other than the glue. Other than the glue, but I mean, you know, <laughs> there's there's arguments that it was for engineer, but but I mean, right. you know, they, they got a little frisky with Apple for a while, uh, making fun of Apple when Apple split. But honestly, yeah. I thought it was okay because, you know, when they have a breakup as bad as that, that's, it's, it was okay. But they, they generally, they just don't like to be that frisky. So I don't think they're gonna do it with Arc. Yeah. Now, maybe if it got to the point where like, they could legitimately give you 40, 90 performance mm -hmm. for $800, you know? Right, sure. Then, I mean, but that's like fantasy. So right. Then maybe you do have to like, puff up your chest a little bit or something, but I don't think they would do that. And I- Yeah, I feel like it's, I, I really hope Intel doesn't try to get funny with their marketing. I, I hope they don't try to play to the enthusiast crowd. It's a smaller audience. And there's something to be said for not being in the headlines. That's true. Because the only thing people remembered <laughs> right. was when the A770 came out, planes started like smacking on the runway, there's flames <laughs> coming out to the engines. People were saying, oh my God, I want to get off this plane. And it was the ugliest thing ever. And that's really probably what is still in a lot of people's minds. Right. And what we have today with ARC is a really competitive GPU giving value to people in that price range. 
how the hell do you get people to even pay attention to you now? All they remember is your shitty launch. So how first do you, impressions matter a lot. Yeah. So do you like go out and you do something just to get people to talk about your product? I actually just spoke to someone from Intel about this. Uh, probably your contact as well, Ben. I just and um, the the reason I messaged him was because it was following the publication of the 7600 and the 4060 Ti reviews. And I messaged them and I said, hey, please. Please get through to your marketing team that you guys need to just like keep doing what you're doing, which is, I, you probably get these too, but they'll send out these small emails of, hey, we updated the drivers, right. here's what changed. And that's it. They give you some percentages, right. they tell you the games, and they back off. And if you want to cover it, great. If you think it's interesting, great. But they're not here trying to like sell it to you as a reviewer. And I, I think that's a good approach where it allows the story to develop on its own organically without this like weird corporate influence that can start to backfire and create, as we talked about in your video, expectations that can't become reality. Right. So, But sometimes the reason why people post stupid ass videos on TikTok, doing dumb ass things, walking to a Best Buy trying to pretend you work there, is because now people are talking about you. So I honestly, you do wonder if like you do something stupid just to get in the news, is it worth it? Because, you know, again, it's really hard to break into somebody just buying an NVIDIA card because that's what they've always bought. So is it is it AMD that's walking into the Best Buy or NVIDIA? I I think it'd Which, probably be maybe Intel. And you dress Intel. up and they try to like, I don't know. Because I, I just because feel it's like- Because it's blue. Because you want to, I mean, the sad thing about today's world is if you're not in the headlines, you're, people are not thinking about you and all they can remember the bad publicity. I think, a lot of people covered so it well enough. you should create more bad publicity. It's a, it's a crappy <laughs> world Because of your in. option has no publicity or more recent bad publicity. Yes. And <laughs> I guess you choose that one? They say that there's no such thing as bad publicity. Except I, for actual bad publicity. But I do I wonder if, how in the world does Intel get itself into the mind of people. But it, everybody knows it's there. But I don't know what you do. And that's, that's really hard. You know, again, we've done our testing. You've done our testing. The, the card is, you know, a really good value for people. And the internet, because I know you right now, <laughs> is like, yeah, this is like, I only care about value. You know, F you, NVIDIA. You know, Wait, what's up with the hey, prices? Hey, this? Gordon, oh, I'm sorry. We're sorry. in a restaurant. We're in a restaurant. <laughs> I don't want to end up being arrested by the Best Buy police. What I'm saying is you get in there and you, you talk all their Best Buys in Taiwan. You, you, flop, you, you talk all your smack, and then you end up buying the NVIDIA card. So is Intel screwed right now? I will say no. I'm leaning toward no, because the other thing that's still in there that's always going to hang over Intel's head, unfortunately, is Intel going to kill ARC. Oh, OK. Yeah. Because to me, like, honestly, if we didn't have all that series of like, oh my god, they're going to, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. If we, if everybody felt like, yeah, you know, Intel's going to keep doing this, I, I feel okay about it. Yeah. But that to me, no matter what, that is always going to be there. Do you think that should bother people? I think if, if the product makes sense right now today for your build and it's not going to bother you if support vanishes, uh, for example, if you're maybe a short term user, two, three years, whatever, I don't think it should bother you if it's the right choice today because who cares if it's not around in five years when you're not using it anymore. I think for someone who needs long-term support, it should bother them. I don't think you should subsidize or kickstart Intel and just buy it to help them out. Because it's like, I guarantee you, Intel has more money than you and everyone else watching this combined. So it's like, they don't need the kickstart. Except for Jensen who's watching this. Except like, for not Jensen. Me. Not me. And maybe, I don't know, maybe Pat Galsiner is watching it. Yeah, He's probably okay. But for everyone buying the parts, uh, it, you don't need to kickstart them and, and just buy it if you actually think it's worth buying. So, so you, I mean, to me, like that's actually worth reiterating because, you know, there was very public predictions that Arc was dead. You came out, your sources said it was no. Yeah. I've right. talked to about four or five other really switched in journalists who said no as well. So, generally, you think Arc is, you're still going with that? I mean, no. I mean, going with that, uh, Maybe a little bit of a loaded phrase, but I think 
there is no evidence to suggest otherwise right now. Okay. Which is about, yeah, it's a, it's a weak answer, but I think it's the most accurate answer I can give. Yeah, so. and I think the other thing that's worth saying too is... Um, Man, and the uh, AMD and NVIDIA back there, yeah. really upset. Really upset with this video. No, yeah, definitely, definitely. They're still upset about the price. I, th I think that thing that I think should be said in Intel's defense too is, even if that, if you're, you still have that, oh, I'm afraid they might kill it, yeah. which again, we're saying all yeah. evidence indicates that's not gonna happen. Um, Intel in the past on products that they have canceled has been very stand up mm. and you will get drivers for quite a while. Typically, yeah. Typically, yeah. generally far beyond the, the length you should be using that product. It's not so like Google that's... where they flip a switch and it's yeah, gone. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your answer. Is Intel screwed? Um, we're going to pack up and get out of here before security comes and finds us because Gordon started screaming F you in the middle of a restaurant. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Go subscribe to PC World. They have a website as well. Check it all out. They've got a great team over there. And Gordon, thank you for joining me. Thanks, Steve. And we'll see you all next time. Okay. Oh, you're right. I got too excited. <laughs>